Haman wanted to destroy the people of God. Haman wanted to destroy God's chosen people. And Father God said that the same way that Haman was destroyed, hanged man, Haman, this is what I'm seeing with the people that's working against some of you. They're going to be like going around in circles and everything they're trying to spin up this web against you. Uh, God said that it's coming right back to them. They're going to get caught up in that same web that they're working against you. So God have mercy on your soul because he showed me a hanged man just like Haman who was working against the children of Israel. This is what is going to happen to the people in your life. And I feel like this is on a personal level, maybe even to some uh, others, a business level or a professional level. But some people are plotting up against you. Oh, God is saying today, have mercy on your soul. God is saying that he's going to rectify ill-gotten gains. If people have attained something the wrong way from you, it has actually brought a curse against them. I saw stolen goods, stolen property, stolen equipment, stolen birthright. So things that people, wicked people have accumulated or people have accumulated by wicked devices and manipulation, uh, maybe even wrong motives they've had working against you or usury that has created broken dreams or broken promises uh, via falsehood or lying or bad motives in your life. But whatever they, maybe they have took from you, God say that this thing that they brought within their own goods as their own, it has literally brought a curse against their life. So I'm going to say to you, if you have gotten something through ill-gotten gains and you took it from a person, a child of God, it's going to bring a curse unto you. God is saying, but my people, my children are going to be all right. My hand is on their lives, but woe be unto you.